guys, Tracy from Function Living. It is Monday and a new week of cooking. I'm going to make boneless chicken bites. These were like five bucks for Winkle. I have these macaroni cheese bites I got from Winkle. I think they were like a little over a dollar. My daughter picked them up. So I'm going to make those on the side as a little extra. And then I have these cans of potatoes that I got from the food bank. I have like six, but I'm gonna use four. Julie left in my comments a while back ago, like one of my first videos to drain the potatoes and make roasted potatoes. And I was gonna do lemon pepper, but I forgot I didn't buy lemon pepper. I meant to put it on my grocery list and I forgot. So I'm gonna use garlic, carol seasoning, sea salt, and some gar onion powder. That's what I'm gonna use to flavor these up. Hopefully it comes out great. She said use any seasoning, so that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna get this all started. I'm gonna open these cans up and start putting everything in the oven. These go in the oven too, so I think I'm just gonna put the chicken bites and these on the same pan. And then I'm gonna put these in the casserole dish. And I think what I'm gonna do is make some cinnamon baked apples. So after all this is done, I'm gonna throw the cinnamon baked apples in there. So I'm gonna do that too. Okay, now I'm just gonna add a seasoning if I have them in my casserole dish. Just gonna add the seasonings. the seasonings out and I'm I didn't make very much. Um, my kids are still hungry. They have like a chicken patty or something. They can microwave. So I'm going to just throw this in the oven. That's in the oven. I'm going to get the apples started. Okay, so now I'm just going to, I got the apples all cut up. And I'm going to do, it's just I'm going to take some brown sugar. Out of a cup. Well, under a cup. And then I'm going to add some cinnamon. This is my first time doing this, so like this anyway. I baked apples before, but I didn't add this before. The cinnamon and brown sugar. I figured it would probably taste good. So I'm gonna mix it all up. I'm make like a coating on it. My kids can have this too. We're gonna have this for a dessert, so if they're still hungry, they can have this first. And then we can still hungry after that. We'll figure it out. My kids don't start, trust me. <laughs> okay, so once this is all done, I'm gonna throw the baked apples in the oven. Okay, dinner is done. Now I'm going to put the apples in. I put those in for like 15 minutes. But I'll show you how this looks and I'm gonna serve it up. Okay, potatoes are done enough. I would like them a little bit more crispy, but I don't think they're going to get that crispy, so. And a little bit of chicken we're going to have, and my kids are going to have the, the macaroni bite. So, yep, going to serve this up. Okay, that's done. Let's try the potatoes. Probably would taste it better with the lemon pepper, but I forgot we were out. It's all right. I need some more salt. Kind of tastes like just boiled potatoes to me. <laughs> Is it chicken? I 
the buffalo chicken is good, but they need to make give you more. They don't give you very much. Okay, I'll be back when the baked apples are done. Okay, the apples are done, so I'm gonna serve myself a little bit. I didn't want these apples to go to waste. Nobody was eating them. I was like, baked apples sound good. So. Like this. Sorry, it's getting kind of loud. Okay. Mm. I'm going to put back in the oven for a little bit longer. But the flavor is really good. I said them in and brown sugar works really well together. I haven't had baked apples for a long time. Mm. Nice little treat. Okay, so tomorrow I'm making laguisa and macaroni and cheese for dinner tomorrow. Okay, so tomorrow's Tuesday. See you then. Hi, it's Teresa from Functional Living. It is Wednesday. Yesterday, I didn't do a video because um, I went to the dentist and I had to have an extraction done and I had a tooth that broke a while ago and so I had it extracted yesterday but that tooth did not want to come out I was he was trying for like an hour trying to get my tooth out and well of course I was swollen afterwards and couldn't talk and couldn't eat so here I am doing a video today and I'm doing a lunch. We didn't have this last night, so we're having it for lunch. Making the macaroni cheese with laguisa. And the way I'm making my macaroni cheese is just in the pan, boiling all together. The milk, the noodles, the cheese, the butter, all together. It actually tastes better this way. You're not supposed to have to drain it. So if I don't have too much water in the milk, I won't have to drain it. The, the juice, the liquid will be will be absorbed and the noodles will be thick. So let's try it. I've done it a couple of times. Sometimes I mess up, but hopefully I don't mess up now. <laughs> so I'm gonna get this started. Okay, I added my water and I'm gonna add my milk. <laughs> add the pasta, actually I'll add the butter. What I am going to do is let the butter melt. I'm using my butter to need by milk. I'm out. Instead of original butter since it's healthier. I'm going to let this cook together. Then I'm going to add the pasta. Because I think it's better for the butter to be melted before I add the pasta. So I'm going to do that first. Okay, now I'm going to add the macaroni. Since the butter is all melted in there. Make sure I'm going to add the cheese first. I hate how the cheese is always like on the bottom. I like putting the cheese first usually, then the pasta. I need to get more macaroni cheese too. I don't know. I like making homemade macaroni cheese. cheese for others so we start buying when I see it on sale mix it up a little bit 
it so it's not all clumpy. Okay, so now I'm going to add my pasta. Then I'm going to let it boil together. Be back. This is what it looks like um, as it's boiling, getting ready to boil. So, yep, let's see how it goes. I still have a couple pieces of cheese chunks in there, but oh well. Okay, and I'm going to cut up the linguista once this is boiled and tender. I'm going to fry up the linguista and then add it together. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to add the linguista, my pan bonnet, and fry this up. And I'm going to show you the pasta. So, I have it on simmer because the, the noodles are cooked all the way, so it thicken up more. So, as you can see, it came out good. I didn't have to drain it, as you can see. I am going to serve the vegetable, mixed vegetables too with this. And I think this is, yeah, I mean, it's it's want to have a, a dinner roll with that. Hawaiian cheese, I got from the food bank. I'm going to tell them the freezer. Mac and cheese, I got from the food bank. The beets, I bought from Costco, all that. And this, I bought. I'll let you know how much it is all so at the end of the video. So I'm still trying this. I'm just going to put this in the microwave. And this is lunch for today because I'm not going to do dinner later. Dinner is quesadillas. And um, I have to go to church tonight. So I'm doing quesadillas. And I've done a video of quesadillas already before. So I'm going to do it. Okay. So the laguisa is done. I'm going to add it to the macaroni cheese. The macaroni cheese is on the bowl. So I always clean the kitchen before I cook. <laughs> if it's okay, so let me show you. That's what it looks like. I just want the flavors cooked together for a few minutes, and then I'm gonna serve it. Okay, it is done. I'm hungry too, so I got a little bit more pasta than I should have got, but I didn't really eat yesterday. <laughs> I only had soup, so. Good. I didn't add any flavor to, to the vegetables. I just threw it in my brain. That's right, good. Okay. Tomorrow is Thursday. I'm going to have butterfly shrimp. And I think lime and cilantro rice. Okay. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thursday.